quite simply, train drivers in the UK haven't had a pay rise for five years. They're going half a decade without pay. We were key workers during the pandemic. We didn't see pay rises during those two years. Where inflation started to rise in year three, when it went to the heady heights of 5.2, we went to the employers and the government and said, uh, we need a pay rise. Subsequently, we found out that our employers who'd made 500 million pounds during the pandemic had signed contracts with the government not to give us a pay rise. Well, you see the message behind us. We've uh, targeted the Tory party conference, the start date and the finish date of it, not for political reasons, but for industrial reasons, to say to Mr Harper, we haven't seen you since last December. Where's Harper? Where's Wally? That's the theme today. And the HS2 started in 2009. We've had 12 years of uh, government mismanagement at HS2. The idea of HS2 should have been it started on the south coast, started at the top end of Scotland, met in the middle, right, delivered Kyoto, delivered Paris, right, de delivered all the things we wanted for a green economy. Uh, and where it is at the moment, nobody wants it to go to Old Oak Common. They took out the spur into HS1. When's a high speed network, not a high speed network? The whole idea of it was getting on a train at Newcastle, Manchester, at Leeds, and getting off in Frankfurt or Amsterdam or Paris. Right, they have ruined the whole principle of it. We still need it. We need it in its entirety. This little island, 800 miles long, and a growing population, we can't deliver the green agenda, we can't deliver freight on rail, we can't deliver the capacity we need for future passages unless we have HS2 in its entirety. I don't think the Tories care about rail at all. Everything's about train drivers, uh, truck car drivers at the moment, everything's about roads. The fact they reduce the tax on airlines for short haul tells you they don't want rail to compete. Well, I think the people in power don't want to have discussions and quite clearly don't want to talk to us and are happy for the disputes to go on. As for the others, we've had 160 Labour MPs on our picket lines around the country showing support in their constituencies. So we do believe there is a difference.